Hi, is it better to speak a language perfectly or is it sufficient just to communicate? Well, the answer to that seems pretty obvious. However, do you allow yourself to make mistakes? This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World, here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. And the reason I'm bringing up this subject is because nowadays people have difficulty when they learn a language in speaking, particularly because they're afraid of making mistakes. Now, let me tell you a story. When uh, I was living in England, um, I then, uh, when I was about 15, uh, had the opportunity to move to Germany with my uh, family. And subsequently, when I'd finished international high school, uh, I chose to go to German university. Now, I was criticized by my great aunt uh, for this choice because she said, you don't speak German well enough yet. And that way you'll neither speak German well nor English well in the sense that uh, I'd be missing out on academic English and I thought about what she said but I carried on and carried my choice through and I went uh, to university um, I studied for five years rather than four because the professor said they had to um, practically judge me on the same basis as they would judge my peers so they couldn't make allowances for language differences but I uh, was very satisfied with my result and I learnt a new language now so, um, I thought about this carefully and this is the answer that I'd also given my great aunt. I prefer to be able to speak two languages at 90% rather than one language 100%. And I am really grateful for this opportunity that I had because it made me learn a language much better in, in great detail just because I was able to go to university there. And so uh, now I speak various languages and I feel comfortable in them. And this is because I've had the opportunity to to go to various countries and to study the languages quite well. But that doesn't mean I'm perfect in the languages. For example, I'm self-taught in Spanish and I know I have a lot of studying still to do. But when it was necessary, after only a few months, I needed to communicate over the phone with authorities in Spanish and I managed. I managed to understand them and they managed to understand me. So we communicated and that was the most important thing. Now, now that I know the language better, I realize how many horrendous mistakes I made. But that's not the point. The point was I was managing to communicate and that was the most important goal for me in the those days. So I myself suffer from this uh, point where you need to be uh, able to allow yourself to make mistakes and uh, all of us, the more we study, the more detail we go into our studies, the more we realize how we make mistakes and the more embarrassed we are to speak and that's absolutely wrong. Learning a language means being able to make mistakes just like learning anything means being able to mistake make mistakes. We all learn from our mistakes. So the advice I give you is forget what people think, just throw yourself out there, speak, allow yourself to make mistakes and you'll necessarily improve because uh, some people will correct you, others may not, but you'll still be able to hear uh, the language and improve. Uh, actually, it's a good idea to ask people to correct you, but not everyone uh, will allow that because they feel embarrassed to correct you. But that doesn't matter. Uh, just um, speaking and speaking, reading, and then uh, trying to watch podcasts and repeating a lot. Repeating not in the sense of rote memorization but um, what I do is I take podcasts and I'll listen to a sentence stop it and try and repeat it with the same uh, intonation same pronunciation uh, same let's say highs and lows that the speaker has been using and that's the kind of repetition you need so that your mouth can practice um, the uh, pronunciation of the language and you'll get better and better at it so that's the kind of repetition when we say they repeat, not so much just uh, memorizing and repeating off by heart, but allow yourself to make mistakes. That's my advice.
and i hope this was useful to you. see you in the next video. bye!